Welcome back to Glorious Living by Silla. If you're new to my channel, I'm a Christian woman who lives to serve Jesus. I'm an international vagabond living a van life. And I left Sweden in the beginning of September. And at the moment I'm in the lovely Portugal. When you subscribe to my channel, you will get inspiration to get out of the hamster wheel and to actually live your dream life. I'll get you covered when it comes to all you need to know about living van life. And I will also share with you all the amazing things that God does in my life. So hello and welcome back to Glorious Living. So, I'm in Nazaré, in Portugal, uh, and it's amazing here. The sunset here, it's really, really gorgeous. I still miss the mountains and I miss Chamonix, of course. But the beaches and the sunsets here, it's really, really nice. So, this is my lunch today. Do you see what it is? It beets with uh, chevre cheese and crisp bread with uh, cheese. I love cheese. Yes, I do. <laughs> So I think we should reflect more. I mean, what is really makes us happy? I don't think it's stuff and more stuff. But so many people out there, they chase money and they chase stuff. I want to chase love, joy and freedom. I don't know about you, but I have realized that money and stuff won't take me there. I want to collect adventures and nice memories with people, not things. Oh, so today we're going to talk about goals. It's a new year and every January I always set up new goals for the upcoming year. And goals are very, very important because if you don't know where you're going, you don't either know what to do. And it's also important because you will become aware of your behavior. Uh, so if you're not pleased with something in your life, uh, you can see why. So you can also make a plan for the change you want to have in your life. So first what I will do, I will set up a team for the year. So my team for 2023 will be thankfulness. So that's a team I will focus on during the whole uh, year to be thankful for who I am, to be thankful for all things I have, to really practice, to feel, to be thankful for everything. And ask yourself, how can I embody my team this year? For me, example, I, every night I write, write down three or five things I'm thankful for, things that happen during the day and it can be very simple things. It doesn't mean it kind of needs to be these super big things. It can be small things like I woke up this morning and sun is shining. I'm so thankful for that. Or I'm so thankful for having clean water or just simple things that we so often take for granted. And that's also why I have this team thankfulness for 2023 because I have so, so many things in my life I just take for granted. So I think it's very important to, to become aware of what you have and to really be thankful for that. So after being setting up a team for the year, I ask myself, who do I want to become during 2023? So this year I want to become a godly and worry-free woman with a lot of joy and happiness in my life. And I want to be a very inspirational person who inspires others to be the best version of themselves. And I would also like to have a lot of creative energy for the year. 
And one thing here to don't forget, if you are a Christian like me, you want to know what God has for you the upcoming year. So it's very important to pray over it. Before you set the goals, you need, need to go to God and pray and ask Him what you have for me in this season in life. So when you know who do you want to become this year, you need to ask yourself which changes do I need to do to become that person? And sometimes even a more important question is to ask yourself which things do I need to let go of? And sometimes that question is more important actually because so often we carry around with a lot of things we don't need and things we have in our life that don't actually serve us anymore. So what are the things you need to let go of? So in my case I need to let go of um, comparing myself to others because that's something that really don't serve me at all and I also need to quit worry about things I can't control because that's a thing that I really do so much and it's nothing good comes out of that and I also need to um, quit telling myself I'm not good enough that's also something I'm doing so so much and it doesn't serve me at all so now we know which team we have for the year and we know who do we want to become this year we know which changes we need to do and which things we need to let go of so the next stage will be to actually set up uh, goals. So you can do this in very m many different ways of course, but I used to set goals for all areas in my life. I used to have sport and training goals, I used to have business career goals, uh, spiritual goals, uh, personal growth goals, uh, relationship goals and financial goals. So one of my big goals for 2022 was actually to uh, buy Bumbelina and build this car and to leave Sweden and I have really succeeded that so that's something I'm very very happy about. This year I won't have relationship goals because 2021 I had my relationship goal was 2021 to get married in the end of the year. And in another year I was still very very unmarried, so I find it very hard to set goals that include other people. Because you can't control other people, but you can just control yourself. So that's, for me that makes it very very hard, so this year I won't have relationship goals. And sometimes I can also feel if, if I have too many goals, it will be kind of just messed up in my brain. So I need kind of to have one or two things I'm really, really kind of focusing on. Oh, I just had lunch on the beach. It was lovely. It's so warm today. It's really, really lovely weather. First, actually, it's kind of super warm. So I'm thinking about having a swim later. We'll see. But yeah, back to goals. So, when you have picked your areas, you need to write down your goals and they should be specific, they should be really specific, you should be able to kind of touch it almost. And you also need to make sure that you have a time limit, when will you accomplish this goal? And you also need to feel you are inspired and that you get energy when you're thinking about your goal. So, let's take an example. Uh, a good example could be, I want to run 10k under 40 minutes and I will do that 15th of August. It's very specific and I know exactly how it looks like. I know exactly when I need to accomplish it so I can plan uh, my kind of training and all that I need to do to accomplish it. So for me 2023 will be a lot about filming, taking photos, learning to edit uh, videos. That's kind of one of my main goals. One of my main goals for 2023 is to have 10,000 followers on my YouTube channel in end of this year. 
And it's also very, very good to share your goals with other people like I do now. So now we have been writing down your goals. And the next step will be to think about and ask yourself, why do I want to accomplish this? A very strong and good why is sometimes actually more important that, than what you are doing. Because if you have a really strong and good why, that will give you an energy to continue to continue working towards your goal. But without a very strong why, it will get much, much more harder. And in my case, with uh, my project with Man Life and Bumbelina, I had a very, very strong why. And it wasn't always easy, but it was my strong why that kept me going. And you will have setbacks. All people have setbacks. That's uh, part of it. So when the setbacks comes, it's much easier to handle it if you have a very, very strong why. So now we have been writing down your goals on a paper so you know exactly what you want to accomplish. And you also have a very, very strong why. Then it's time to think about how do I, how do I achieve it? What do I actually have to do? So it's time to make an action plan. So now we need to write down exactly how the steps gonna look like, exactly what you need to do every day and be specific. So in my case, with my YouTube channel, for example, I need to, to uh, learn to create very, very good content, which means to be able to film very well and to edit very well. Uh, and as a part of that, I actually will start uh, education next week. I will learn to uh, edit in Premiere Pro. So that will probably take my uh, videos to next level. But I also need to learn to film better and take better photos and learn to fly my drone even better. So write down all the actions you can come up with that you need to take and skills you need to have and kind of things, concrete things you, you uh, can do to improve on that area. And it's also good to set smaller goals along the way. Let's say if I, oh, oh, with the 10k, for example, if I want to run 10k in end of August, I might want to run 10k on uh, 44 minutes in May or something. Or with my YouTube channel, for example, I might want to have 5,000 subscribers in, let's say, August or something. So when you have been writing down all your actions you can take to come closer to your goal, uh, then you need to write down all, how does an idle day look like for you. What do you do in the morning? What are you doing after lunch? Write down the things you're going to do every single day that make you come closer to your goal. So yeah, that's how I do it. So let's go out there and crash some goals. It's really warm and sunny and it's really wonderful weather. So I'm sitting here and having some, some snack. So I want to create a life that I don't need to take vacation from. So many people out there live for the five weeks holiday they have every year. But instead of wondering when your next vacation is, maybe you should set up a life that you don't need to escape from. I'm so happy I took this chance to just leave and to be able to do this. Because in the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. watching this week's episode and good luck with your goals and uh, share them down below here in the comments as well 
it's uh, it's very good to share your goals, as I said before. So I wish you all a very very nice week. God bless you all.